Hey everyone. So I know last week I didn't end up uploading a video. It was a very stressful week last week, um, to say the least. So this week I will be uploading two videos. This is the first one of those two, obviously. Later on in the week I'm going to be uploading a February favourites video. So this video is going to be a little bit more serious than what you're probably used to seeing on this channel. I'm going to be talking about a little thing called panic attacks. Now the reason why I wanted to talk about panic attacks is as I mentioned earlier I had a very stressful week last week and on Friday night I ended up having a panic attack that lasted roughly 30 hours. So that's why I wanted to talk about it in this video. Um, I don't really want it to be a taboo topic anymore. I feel like people have the right to talk about it and hopefully if this helps just one person then I will be very very happy. So although I have never been officially diagnosed with anxiety, I know that I'm a very anxious person and I've also suffered from panic attacks like I said for roughly half my life. Um, only recently, a few months ago, did I decide to um, sort of bring it out into the open, let my friends and family know that it is something that I suffer from. And by talking about it, it really helped me to accept that it's part of who I am and there are always going to be people there who are going to be willing to help you and talk to you about it. But since I have come into the open about it, I have received a lot of questions from friends and family who want to know more about what it's like and I'm more than happy to answer those questions. So what I thought I'd do in this video is answer a couple of the more common questions I get asked about anxiety attacks or panic attacks. So the first question that I get asked quite often is when did they start? Now I don't actually remember the very first panic attack I had. Um, I suppose when I was younger I didn't quite understand what was going on and it was only in, it's only been in the past few years that I've sort of realized that what I'm experiencing is a panic attack. But the earliest panic attack that I can remember is when I would have been about 11 or 12 I think, so roughly 10, 11 years ago. I was at my brother's um, like army cadet sort of presentation night and Obviously, they were all standing at attention for a very long time. And one of the cadets who was sort of standing at the front, pretty much directly in front of me, just fainted. Went straight over, hit the deck, and the next thing I know, I was having what I now know was a panic attack. I had to remove myself from the building. I was in tears, and I couldn't explain to my mum why I couldn't go back into the building and I just, I don't know why it affected me so much um, but as the years have gone on I've realized that seeing people hurt themselves you know get harmed in a way that they can't control is one of the panic attack triggers for me but that is probably the earliest panic attack I can remember having I'm sure there's been several more before then but that's just the earliest one that sort of stands out in my memory. The next question I get asked is what does it feel like? Now this can be totally different for different people. A panic attack for me can be from anything from really mild to quite severe. A mild panic attack for me often is very very fast rapid heart rate um, kind of breaking out in a sweat they probably be the mild ones for me. The most severe ones I've had, um, example is the one I had on Friday night, is the fast heart rate um, sort of breaking out in a sweat. I also get a really, really sudden rush of heaps of adrenaline. And at the same time I get that rush of adrenaline, my eyesight sort of goes a little bit blurry for at least a few seconds. And also I can get quite stressed out and I start hyperventilating and basically I'm a total, total mess. 
So the one I had on Friday night, for example, I say it lasted 30 hours because I had the initial panic attack, which was all of those symptoms I just mentioned. When that sort of faded, every few hours it would come back as sort of little heart flutters and little bursts of adrenaline that I was totally not in control of and would come just at random. They finally stopped, I think, at 3 a.m. on Sunday morning. So 3 a.m. yesterday morning after I got the first initial panic attack on maybe about 10 o'clock Friday night. So they can be really small, really brief, last a couple minutes and I'll be fine again, or they can last, you know, a day or more, depending on what you're freaking out over. The next question I get asked is what causes them? Now this can be, again, totally different for different people, but for me, a panic attack is often triggered when I see people hurt themselves. I don't know why, um, like for example, when I saw the guy fainting, it can be triggered when I am in certain social situations, when I'm in crowded places where I feel like I can't get out of, there's no escape from. For example, I had a very small panic attack in an elevator once when my boyfriend and I were in there leaving the shops. A few more people got in and then just more and more and more and more people decided to get in the elevator and just cram it until I was being touched from every single side and I knew that I could not get out. I ended up just shutting my eyes and just waiting for it to be over. I don't know why people kept trying to shove themselves in. It was... Obviously, they don't experience the same sort of, you know, claustrophobic anxiety that I do, but for me, it was, it was a nightmare. <laughs> oh, gosh. Yeah, so for me, it's caused by people who end up in, seeing people who end up in harmful situations. I do not know why. I'm just a little bit funny with watch seeing people hurt themselves, basically, which is why I can't stand it when people share those Facebook videos of people doing things sometimes to deliberately hurt themselves because obviously the people who share them don't realize the sort of the effect that that kind of imagery can have on certain people. So people hurting themselves, crowded places and certain social situations as well. One thing I got asked from a friend recently which I thought was really lovely. She doesn't have anxiety but she knows a couple of people who do and she asked me what can I do if I'm ever around you or someone else and they start having a panic attack? Now, I can't answer for everyone who has panic attacks, but for me, I just like to be removed from the situation as quickly as possible. Don't tell me it's going to be okay because that's the silliest thing you can probably say when obviously it's not okay because if it was okay, I wouldn't be freaking out. Um, just, just ask them if there's anything that you can do for them, maybe bring them a glass of water, but the biggest thing is to get them out of the situation that's causing them to have a panic attack and just reassure them that they're safe. Don't tell them it's okay, but tell them that they are safe with you. Also another thing that tends to help me when I'm having a panic attack, only obviously if I know the person very well, is I just like to be cuddled. I just like to be held until I finally feel my heart rate slowing my breath going back to normal and my adrenaline levels dropping to a healthy level as well. So yeah, that's it. I just wanted to make that video. Um, like I said, I've only recently sort of brought my panic attacks into the light and let my friends and family know that it's something I suffer from. Um, if you are watching this and you also suffer from panic attacks and you don't know what's going on then hopefully I've helped you understand what a panic attack feels like how to identify when you're having one just be reassured that you're not alone and if anyone has any more questions leave them in the comments down below I will be more than happy to answer them for you um, just remember that people who have panic attacks are totally normal we're just like you but for some reason there's a part in our brain that goes back to the whole fight or flight um, scenario from way back in our cavemen days that tells us the situation we're in is 
not okay. I think that's another important thing to remember too is if you suffer from panic attacks you're not a freak, you're not a weirdo. Some people just have a certain trigger in their brain that causes them to react to stressful situations by having a panic attack. Anyway that's all for now and yeah I will see you again later in the week with a video that's a much lighter topic. <laughs> Thank you for watching, bye!